we sent out uh, this morning. Yeah, perfect, perfect. We had a, a few exciting coaches meeting today. Hey, Felicia. Yeah. Just talking about the steps getting Hi, back to the gym, hopefully in the next few weeks. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but if you didn't take a look through, there were also uh, a few survey questions. So if you don't mind just filling that out, sending back your feedback. Uh, we're taking everything into consideration, but it's pretty exciting to be talking about uh, the next steps once this all comes to an end, hopefully sooner than later. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that being said, we, if you guys aren't on mute yet, do you mind just putting yourself, popping yourselves onto mute? That's awesome. Um, so for a warm up today, we're going to go through a six minute MRAP. You're going to go through at your own speed, your own pace. I will demo each of the movements and then you're just going to move through for six minutes at your own intensity. So movement number one is going to be mountain climbers. So 30 seconds worth doesn't have to be exactly 30 seconds, just kind of around that ballpark. So two options here. If you're still feeling pretty cold, you can just kind of go through pausing at each end range position, or if you want a little bit faster, back and forth there for your 30 seconds. Then the T twist, two options here as well. You can either be uh, on all fours, like a cat and cow, hand up by the ear, coming down and then reaching up. 10 per side, or if you want to get a little bit more hip flexor into there, you're going to come into a long lunge, and they're going to twist towards the leg that's out in front. Just warming up through that T-spine in the lateral rotation, uh, through the chest, through the spine there. So 10 per side. Movement number three is going to be toe touches. So standing quite wide so you can touch the ground, hinging over from the hips, touching the ground, and then reaching up. 10 times through there. Then it's gonna be five per side reverse lunge. So lunge down, squeeze in the bum at the top, down and then up, five per side. And then finally, it's going to be five upward and downward dogs. So you're gonna start in your downward dog position, hips towards the sky, heels towards the ground. Moving through to your upward dog, coming through and then back down to downward dog. So five times through there. Uh, again, six minutes, go at your own speed here. It is warm up. Don't try to sprint it or anything like that. Uh, any questions? Yo, Felicia. <laughs> How many of each again? Uh, it is um, 30 second mountain climber. 10 per side T-twist, 10 toe touches, and then 10 reverse lunges, five per side, and then five upward downward dogs. Most of you will get through it twice. That's about it. Good? Okay, whenever you're ready, find some space. Here we go, three, two, one, six minutes. Yeah, so starting with your 30 second mountain climbers, go. Felicia, you're frozen. That's about 30 seconds into your T twist. 10 per side there. Oops, almost left the meeting. When you're done with the twist, 10 toe touches. Touch the ground, touch the sky. Bend your knees as much as you need to through these as well. Yeah. Good. 
When you're on your toe touches, five per side lunges. And then upward, downward dog, once you're done your lunges. Yeah, right there. Mr. Tom, you're not on mute. <laughs> when you're done, back to mountain climbers. We're halfway through. Alicia, you're so frozen. What the heck, dude? Yay, there you go. Well, I think it's because I have the wad up because I can't remember anything, even though I asked you to repeat it. So. Oh, that makes sense. So when I have right. that up, I think it freezes me. You're right. Okay. What are the dynamic toe touches again? Uh, touching the ground and touching the sky. So you're okay, that's coming it. Okay, wide that's what I down. Okay, then, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm winning. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> T-twist when you're done your mountain climbers. And then toe touches after that. Yeah. Yeah. Go as wide as you need to with your feet for the toe touches that your back stays nice and flat. That is the goal. Lunges after the toe touches. We got a few of these coming up later. Just about 30 seconds left of this piece, guys. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, awesome. Kind of a full body dynamic warm up, right? Everyone's feeling pretty warm. Yeah, great. Grab some water if you would like a sip. And then next thing we're gonna do is just get the hamstrings and glutes a little bit more warmed up, as well as the core heading into our strength portion. So you're gonna stand with your feet right under your hips. 
Your arms are gonna be up 90 degrees. And I want you to feel like through your arms, you're gonna have active shoulders. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, even though there's no weight or anything, active shoulders, active core. We're gonna go into good mornings with our arms up in that position. So what I'm gonna do, my feet under my hips, I'm going to reach my hips back like I'm bending over a kitchen counter, a pole, something like that. And as I feel that stretch in my hamstrings and glutes, I'm gonna find my end range. As soon as I can't go any further, I'm gonna squeeze my bum as I stand. So I'm gonna hinge my hips back, not letting my back round. Back stays nice and flat, squeezing my bum. So nice and slow, just getting the hamstrings and glutes a little bit more fired up. You're gonna move through that for a minute until I say stop, essentially. So find your position, get ready. Three, two, one, and begin. Good. There should be no knees coming forward. It's just through the hips. Just breaking up those hips. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, feel that hamstring. Ten seconds left. Okay, and rest. Next one we're gonna do is called either Russian squat or bootstrap squat, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna be in your squat stand, so feet are gonna be under the shoulders. You're going to hinge your hips back just like what you were doing, keeping a soft bend in the knees, coming down to grab your toes. Once you're in that position, you're gonna bring your hips down below your knees like a normal squat, and then hips are gonna go back up to the sky. So pulling yourself down to your squat, Pulling your hips back up. You're gonna move through that for another minute, okay? Don't worry about if you can't go all the way down to your squat, just getting a little bit more mobility through the hips and those hamstrings. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> so you have the moves. <laughs> we should have a dance off. That I would lose horrendously. Yeah, try to keep your back super flat here. Don't let yourself round. One. Yeah, at the bottom, you can have that gentle push out of the knees with your elbows. Okay, finish up your last position. Last one here, guys, we are gonna hold a plank for a minute. Just standard front plank on the elbows, making sure the body's gonna be nice and flat. So think shoulders, hips, and heels all in one line. So a minute on the clock, if you need to rest, please do so, and then join us when you feel like you are ready. So whenever you're good, let's get set up. Plank hold, front plank, three, two, one, and hold. Front plank, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. We have a little bit of planking coming up later. Ava, sit on your dad's back. <laughs> <laughs> She's helping. Yeah. Halfway. Wallace is also helping. <laughs> Last 15 seconds.
three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Okay. Again, if you want to grab a sip of water, go for it, and then come on in. I'll explain what the plan is next. Okay. We all feeling good? Yeah, feeling warm? Body's feeling ready? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Lots of thumbs up. So we're going to move into a superset. So you're going to do both movements back to back. Then you're going to get a rest. So two movements here. The first one is going to be a tempo kettlebell, dumbbell, or barbell if you have it deadlift. So two different options here depending on what kind of equipment that you have. If you only have one dumbbell or kettlebell, I'm going to recommend that you do a sumo stance. So coming wide, toes slightly pointed out in that A-frame, and then holding the weight in between your legs. Okay. If you have two dumbbells, you're going to go standard deadlift with your feet under the hips, holding the dumbbells by your side. Okay. Barbell is going to be a standard deadlift as well. So this will be 12 to 15 reps, depending on how it's feeling with a tempo. So say I have both my kettlebells here. I'm going to stand with my feet under my hips. My hips are going to reach back just like that good morning. As soon as I get to about mid thigh, I'm going to drop my hips straight down. Okay. So I'm not doing a straight leg deadlift. We're going to go all the way down. So you're going to hinge, 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 drop the hips down. But keep in mind that my shins are staying straight. They're not coming forward. That's going to put the pressure into my knees and my low back. I want my hamstrings and glutes to take that weight. So I'm going to come down. One, two, three. One second. One second. One second. One, two, three. One, one, one. Okay. We are gonna focus on moving nice and slow through the um, down portion of the deadlift, just to build that strength and stability, because again, most of us have lightish weights, uh, just to build as much time under tension that we can manage. If your weight's super light, even go slower. The slower you go, the more time under tension, building strength through those, that movement. Any questions there so far? I have a question. Yeah. Um, with one barbell, you do the wider stance, you were saying? No, uh, a barbell is just going to be regular deadlift. Sorry, I'm not barbell. I meant dumbbell, my dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So one, <laughs> one dumbbell. Yeah, I'd recommend the wider stance. It's a little bit less awkward. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Movement number two is going to be a reverse or a lunge. So it's going to be weighted. So I'd recommend holding the weight in the goblet squat position. So you're going to come into your lunge stance. So making sure that your hips, your feet stay under your hips are not super narrow or super wide. So nice standard lunge stance. If you look, you should have 90 degrees in the back leg and the front leg. So again, you're not shifting your weight forward. I'm always going to go down in that straight line. My shoulders and hips are always stacked. So you're gonna stay on one leg for the full eight reps. So I'm gonna choose my left leg first. I'm gonna come down, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Once I'm done eight on the left, I will do eight on the right. Same thing, two, three, one, one, two, three. Again, adding that tempo in, to build that strength and stability. And then uh, we're gonna kind of build strength through that standing leg, letting it get fatigued, building strength, building muscle. Okay, so eight per side there. Then you're gonna get a 90 second break. Then you do it three more times. So you're gonna go through the whole thing four times. So again, movement number one is going to be your deadlift. 12 to 15 reps, whatever feels good for you today. With that tempo, three seconds down, one second pause at the bottom, one second up, one second pause at the top. Then eight per side lunges, eight on the left, eight on the right, three seconds down, one second pause at the top. Rest 90 seconds. Since everyone's going to be at a little bit different rep range for this or different um, 
barbells, kettlebells, dumbbells. You are gonna go at your own time, your own speed. Uh, but I will give you guys about 12 to 15-ish minutes to go through it. Just make sure you take your rest after each time. Don't rush into the next one. The rest is intentional. Cool? Any questions with any of that? No? Okay, awesome. Away you guys go. Three, two, one. If you can, can you guys try to stand sideways to me so I can see your positioning? Wait, is this the wad? Like, are we scoring this with time? No, no, not this part. This is just the strength. Nice, Pete. Nice, guys. Good. So you're keeping the weight in the heels and the hips. So, Gwen. Uh, right now you're doing more of a squat where you're coming down with your knees forward. So it's a hinge. So you're breaking at the hips. Yes. There you go. You got it. Perfect. Yeah, three seconds in those lunges. Don't rush them. You should feel your glutes burning. Nice. Gil, you can hold the dumbbell here. It might be more comfortable. Better? Yeah. <laughs> Is that laundry detergent? <laughs> I love how creative you all are. It's awesome. Great. When you're done, take your 90 seconds rest. Any questions so far? Feeling good? Feeling strong? There's been a lot of explosive workouts lately. A lot of jumping, jumping squats, double unders, burpees, things like that. The goal of today was to not really have anything too dynamic in that way. Just building strength through slower movements. And then we'll do our core after. And that'll be... Trust me, that will get spicy. You'll be sweaty. I promise you. Yeah, I'm having a problem with stabilizing my knees. They're feeling pretty weak today. Is there a progression I can use for this? Is there a what, sorry? A progression I can use? Yeah, uh, you could just stick with goblet squats. 
Yeah, okay. So for the lunges you mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, so stick with go uh, goblet squats or what you can think of to help stabilize the knee. With that leg that's out in front, feel like you're twisting it into the ground. Does okay. that make sense? Like you're taking your foot and you're trying to grip the floor and twist. And that should fire up the glute, which will help to stabilize the knee as well. Okay, I'll try that, if not I'll shift to a goblet. So almost like if you're like, my hand is here, you're trying to push your knee outward slightly. And that okay. should fire up the glute, which again will help with that stability. Okay, thanks. Give that a shot, let me know how it is. You could try no weight as well, see how that is. There you go, Gwen. That's better. Nice. How's that feeling, Gil? Yeah, better. I took my foot into the ground helps. I just need to slow the movement down a bit. So. Perfect. And you don't have to go down as far either, right? Yeah. Good. Awesome. Good. Four rounds of this, guys, four times through. Should feel the burn. Who's playing trivia tonight? Yeah. Hopefully everyone's seen Tiger King. <laughs> Spoiler, we have uh, a few questions <laughs> dedicated to it. We played charades on Wednesday. Last Wednesday was really fun. I like charades better than Pictionary, I think. Nice job, pools. Look at that synchro. <laughs> Is someone counting? <laughs> yeah, good. Perfect, Keith. Looks awesome. Back nice and flat. Great. Tristan, you playing trivia tonight? Do it.
Nice, Jonathan. Looks perfect. Good. Alicia, try and push your knee out just slightly. Yes. Perfect. There you go. Do you feel that difference? Great. You guys are on round three, correct? Yes. Great. Oh, it's more stable, Gil. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. All right. Wrapping it up. Almost done. Hey, Dan Felicia. She's back. Yeah, sorry, I had the wad up again. That's no, it's fine. Doing good. It's all good. Also, have you guys seen the floods in Fort McMurray? No. Some of the houses that burned down and during the fire, um, some people I even know their same houses got flooded. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's bad. That's Take a look crazy. at the photos. Okay, yeah, well. I have photos of my friend in a boat going around the neighborhood. Are you serious? Dev it's so devastating, hey? Oh man. Good. My friend's basement's completely flooded right up to the top of the stairs. What? Holy. Happened overnight. Are you serious? Like, uh, was it rainfall or? Every year the Athabasca breaks up the river that's right there and it's called an ice storm and, or ice jam. And it just, it's so bad this year that it's pushed the water completely outside the riverbanks and the whole town's pretty much flooded that's right near the river. It's crazy, very much crazy. Yeah, I'll Google it. That's so scary. Just add one more thing they have to deal with. Okay. When you guys finish up your sets, again, grab some water, relax for a sec, wait for everyone to be done. We have one more thing to go through. Nice. Alicia, you guys doing okay? Awesome. Pete, are you running? <laughs> Pete's doing some laps in between his sets. <laughs> Did 
Did anyone do mini Murph today, by the way? No? After this, right? <laughs> After this. 100 push-ups? No, thank you. <laughs> Pete did it. Of course Pete did it. Of course he did. Of course he did. That's a jam. I am very excited to see how uh, strong our push-ups are going to be at the end of this. Our body weight squats are going to be so, so strong after the end of this. Our shoulder stability for the dumbbell work we've been doing. There's going to be some awesome uh, progression that happens through all this. That's for sure. Are we all finished? Anyone still working? Okay, awesome. So last thing we're gonna do is a Tabata core workout. So who did this when it was programmed about a month ago? Cool, a few, a few of you, awesome. So if you're new to this one, if you are new to a Tabata, what that is is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, times eight. So it's four minutes each. We're gonna go through four different movements, so four different Tabatas. The first Tabata, you're gonna do a full round at each movement before you move to the next. You're not alternating, you're not moving through. It's gonna be one movement first, then you move on. So it's gonna go right side plank first. So a couple options here. Biggest thing with the plank is you want to make sure that your shoulder and elbow are gonna be in one line, they're gonna be stacked. You don't wanna have your elbow way out here, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your shoulder. Your shoulder's not gonna be happy. Just make sure that shoulder stays nice and stacked. I like to put my hand on the ground too for a little bit of extra pressure into the floor. So option number one, if you wanna scale it back a little bit, is just to lift your hips off the ground making sure that bum stays squeezed, trying to stay in that nice long line. Option number two is the full movement. You're gonna come up, hips off the ground. Again, one straight line, hands can go on the hips or up overhead, your choice. If your shoulder's bugging you in that position as well, a good option could be a pedestal. So coming up here onto your hand, you can also have one leg out in front to make it a little bit easier as well. So lots of different options with that one. If your shoulder is really angry in that position, just go to a regular plank, totally cool. Okay, so we'll do all of our first Tabata on the right side, then we'll switch sides. Second Tabata is gonna be on the left side. The third Tabata is going to be a glute bridge. So glute bridge, just wanna make sure that the feet stay facing forwards. They're not flaring out or in, feet stay forwards. You want to set this up so when I'm on my back, if I was to go side to side, I can hit my heels. So I'm not too far away or too close, making sure that's going to be a good distance, that my glutes are involved and not my hamstrings. So from here, I'm just squeezing my bum as I lift up and down. I want to feel that good squeeze at the top. Okay. The fourth Tabata, this is where it's gonna get really spicy, uh, is our hollow flutter kicks. So that movement is gonna look like your hollow position. So core tight, shoulders and feet off the ground, then you're gonna flutter your legs, okay? That is definitely the hardest position of the four. So if you need to scale it back, please do so. If you feel like your neck is getting sore from holding it up, Think about tucking your chin down to your chest. That just gives you that nice neutral neck. If you need to take out the flutter altogether, just holding a hollow. You can do a hollow rock instead here. You can do nice and slow kicks. You can do a hollow rock holding a knee in. You can do a hollow hold holding your knee in. Whatever is gonna be your appropriate scale for that today, because like I said, it will it does get pretty tough, especially by the end after all that core. Um, biggest thing in any of the core positions, making sure that the low back doesn't take over. So whether you're doing your planks, your glute bridges, your hollow, feel like you are tucking your ribs and belly button down together, keeping that core nice and tight, not letting the low back take over. If you feel your low back start to get tired, sore, uh, 
the best thing you can do is take a few seconds break. Once the core uh, becomes deactivated, you can't just reactivate it. You actually have to come out of the position, then re-enter it for that activation to take place again. So keep that in mind. Give yourself a couple seconds break and then go back into it. So those are the four positions, right side plank, left side plank, glute bridge, hollow flutter kicks. The top score of this one today is going to be 32 because we're doing 32 rounds total. If you take a, a round off, if you don't finish the work in that 20 seconds, you're going to deduct a, a, a round from your score. So 31, 30, so on, so on, so forth. This highest score you can have is 32. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah? No? Pete says no. <laughs> yeah. No, it just is the glute bridge a hold or reps? Reps. Yeah, reps, up and down, up and down. Cool. Uh, for the glute bridges, especially, try, I'm going to challenge you guys to see if you can keep the same amount of reps. Hi, Emma. Same amount of reps every time. So say you get 10, try to keep, see if you can keep going through 10 every single round. It'll be fun. Cool. I'll give you guys another minute or so. Play around with the scales and progressions for each of them, and then we'll get the, uh, the timer started. Questions, of course, ask me if you need help with scaling. I'm more than happy to help you. It's about 16 minutes total of work. All right, anyone need more time? Gail, I can't see you, but I'm assuming you're primed. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, um, so I will have the timer set for you guys. My timer will beep when it's halfway, and then I'll, I'll count out the three, two, one before the rest, and then before you go again. So I'll make sure that I keep you guys updated where you're at in that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, but it will beep at the halfway point as well. So just for uh, clarification, you're gonna do ev the whole full eight rounds of one movement first, then the next one, then the next one, then the last one. So you're not alternating, it's gonna be one full thing, then the next full thing. So once you're done the right side plank, that's it, done, done, done. Everyone understand? Okay, awesome. Let's get ready for the first plank. Here we go, in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. One down. Thirty one to go. Two. One, hold. Good. Make sure you breathe. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one, rest. What you doing, Johnny? <laughs> no, you're resting. It's okay, you're resting. <laughs> Two, one, go. Good. 
three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. You're halfway through this round. Two, one, rest. Three, two, one, rest. Two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Two more to go. Two, one, go. Riley. Three, two, one, rest. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Three, two, one, last round. There will be no uh, break in between. It's gonna go right into the next round after 10 seconds, of course. Three, two, one. Awesome job. That one's done. Flip on over. Let's hit the other side here. Okay, three, two, one, go. Same exact thing, more fun times. Where are you going, Alicia? I have another Zoom meeting to go to. <laughs> oh, nice. See you later. Have fun. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Check in with your position. Make sure your glutes are squeezed. When in doubt, squeeze your butt. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, rest. Two, one, go. Two, one, rest. Halfway through this side, guys. Three, two, one, go. Two, 
two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. That's adding up, doesn't it? Three, two, one, go. Two more rounds. Three, two, one, rest. The glue bridges aren't nearly as tough. Three, two, one, go. Last round of planks for the dip. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. Glute bridges next, guys. Up and down, up and down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's an interesting glute bridge over there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Try to really feel that squeeze of the bum at the top. Two, one, rest. Two, one, Let's go. go. Two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Imagine you have a, a band around your knees. You're trying to gently push out towards that band. Keep that tension through the legs. Three. Two, one, rest. If you have a band, you could always wear it too. Use the extra resistance. Two, one, go. Three. Two, one, rest. Two, one, go. Good. Good positioning, everyone. Work those glutes. Three. Two, one, rest. Almost there. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, rest. Two more to go. Two, one, go. Three, 
two, one, rest. Two, one, last round here, guys. Challenge yourselves, last 10 seconds. So you can go without stopping. Three, two, one, rest. All right, best for last, hollow flutter kicks. Scale as needed. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Kick little fishies, kick little fishies. Nice. Rest. Woo! This is where the sweat comes. Three, two, one, go. Really make sure you're breathing through this. Don't hold your breath. Relax your shoulders. Three, two, one, rest. Go to your happy place. Two, one, go. Kick, 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 kick. Rest. Nice. One, go. See some pain faces, great. I feel your pain. One, rest. <laughs> You're halfway. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. You guys still alive? Two, one, go. You're almost there, guys. You're almost finished. Two, one, rest. Two more rounds. That's it. Two more, three more, two more. Two, one, go. Yeah, two more rounds. Three, two, one, rest. Final 20 seconds. See if you can push it a little bit more for this last round. Three, two, one, go. You guys got it. Easy peasy. It's only 20 seconds of your life. That's it. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome job. Wasn't that uh, special? So what I want you guys to do is roll to your bellies. And then two options here, either, <laughs> you do like the flat across the floor just did, either coming up onto the elbows to a cobra, letting the hip flexors relax, the core relax, or going to an upward dog like you did in warm up. 
Just be mindful of the low back if it feels better to be here. Just hang up there. Just bring some length back to the core. Just a ton of it. Nice. So you guys sweating? Anyone not sweating? <laughs> I know how hard those flutter kicks get at the end. Great, and then from here, we're gonna go back to our downward dog. So hips are gonna go towards the sky. Push those heels down. You can kind of shake your head yes and no. You can pedal your heels out. Whatever feels good for you. Throw on downward dog. <laughs> Seven o'clock, party time. All right, guys, come on in. If you're sticking around for trivia, we'll see you in half an hour. Again, it should be really fun. If you don't know Tiger King, I'd recommend brushing up on the memes. See what, what's going on there. Um, great job today, guys. Again, the, hi, Wallace. Oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> the, um, the highest score you can get for that one is 32. So just subtract whatever time you took off. Great job today. Like I said earlier, today was more focused on strength and stability through slow movement and then obviously core. Tomorrow is much different. It's much more explosive, uh, more of a sprint, I guess you could say, type workout. So see you tomorrow, hopefully. If not, see you soon. Any questions from today? <laughs> Hi, the loop bridges were hard. <laughs> the what? <laughs> loop bridges. I've never I had, know. They I've get never they had add them up, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It worked. Hell yeah. See, squat booty. All right, guys, let's end on a three, two, one clap. Bring all the kids in. <laughs> Everyone go clap, ready? All right, three, two, one. No. All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good.